It's RSN. I just wanted to hop in here real quick to talk to you guys about Anna Luisa, and I wanted to thank Anna Luisa so much for partnering with me on today's video. If you don't know what Anna Luisa is, they are my favorite jewelry brand ever. I'm so grateful that they partner with me and send me these beautiful pieces because I just am really excited to share them with you guys and let you know about them because I think they are the perfect place to shop, especially with Valentine's Day coming up for anybody special in your life or even to give a little love to yourself. I think it's the perfect place to shop. They make really sustainable and ethically produced jewelry pieces. So that's amazing that you are buying something while keeping the planet in mind. They also make really high quality pieces that will stand the test of time. And they're also a really reasonable and fair price. They're keeping the consumer in mind and making sure that you are getting the value. I think it's really special and meaningful to give someone a gift that they can use every single day and look at and think of you. And that's definitely Annalisa jewelry for me. I don't leave the house without it. I always have it on every single day. It's just a stable part of my look at this point. Flowers and chocolate and stuff like that are great, but you're only gonna have it for like a month or so and then you'll never see it again. A Annalisa jewelry piece will be with you. It's timeless. They sent me three new pieces. The first is this dainty little bracelet. I love just dainty gold chain bracelets like this one. It has little diamond shaped embellishments along it as well. Also got this cute little dainty gold chain ring. I love rings like this because they are just very classic and they can really stack easily and they go with every outfit as well. And another little gold chain ring. This one has little ball details all around it. And I think this is another piece that anyone would love. It's just very simple. Once again, I'm going to have the link to Anna Luisa in the description box. Don't forget to check them out. They just have the most perfect Valentine's Day gift waiting for you. And let's jump back into the vlog. Sunday today. I'm trying to be a little bit more quiet because Michael is still sleeping, but it is it's 8.48 right now. I woke up at 8.30 today to go to a 10 o'clock Pilates class. I mentioned in my last video that I started a Pilates 30-day trial, so I've been going about twice a week. That's kind of what works best with my schedule. With my shifts at work, them being 10 hours, it's kind of hard to find the time to actually go do a workout during the work week. I would have to go really, really early in the morning or I would have to go really, really late at night and neither one of those seems very enjoyable to me. So I've been going on my off days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, a combination of two out of those three days. I've been really enjoying it for a couple of reasons. I feel like it gets me out of bed. You know, today I got up at 8.30 and it was because I knew I had to get to my Pilates class on time. Yesterday, I didn't have a Pilates class and I slept in until 11. So it's nice to have something scheduled in the morning. It kind of gets me out of bed knowing that I have to be somewhere. I'm really good at getting up if I have to be somewhere. But if I have no plans and I can sleep forever, then I'm gonna sleep forever. I also just really enjoy the class. It's something very different than what I've done before. I think what I've noticed most about my body when doing the class is it's really helped me strengthen my core. I feel like a third of the class at least is just core work and it does help a lot with your flexibility and your balance as well. My balance is really, really bad. So I feel like it's helping me in aspects of fitness that I don't normally focus on. I'm enjoying it and it's a fun, new thing to do and it's nice to get out of the apartment it's nice to be around other people my age i actually got here a little bit early because i just found a really prime spot so i thought i'd use this time to just give a little wedding planning update you guys missed the last video michael and i are engaged he proposed in december on december 17th and we have been starting the wedding planning process we wanted to have kind of a longer engagement and not worry about wedding planning until a little bit later give ourselves a few months to just soak it all in but it just kind of came to our attention that things were already booking up really quickly because of covid brides that had to reschedule or whatever the reason may be. So we didn't want to wait too long and not be able to get our first choice of venue or date 
and also I have decided to apply to PA school in 2023. So of course I'll be going through a really big application. I'll be going through interviews and writing essays and I just didn't wanna to have to deal with both of them at the same time and feel very overwhelmed. So I wanted to kind of strategically plan the wedding around a time where I wouldn't be as busy with PA application stuff. That led us to the month of April. We decided on April because I will already be able to work on my personal statement for my applications whenever I want. I can write that in advance if I want, work on it for a long time. But the application for PA school actually opens on April 30th. So if we get married in April, I won't have to worry about the application yet because it won't even be open. Whereas, you know, in May, I'm gonna be in full swing. Application will be my sole focus. And then in the summertime, I'll be working on supplemental applications. And in the fall, I'll probably be interviewing. So it just took out a big chunk of 2023 for us. So we decided on the month of April and we also got a wedding planner. Her name is Nicole, bless her heart. She is amazing. She is very patient with us. I'm a very anxious person. I like to worry about a lot of things. I'm very type A and she has just been really great with addressing all of our concerns and guiding us through this very confusing process so we have a wedding planner and we have a month that we're focusing on and we are in the process of looking at venues right now we have four venues that we are virtually touring right now and the ones that we really like we are going to try and tour them in person i'll go back down to north carolina in february to look at them in person and hopefully at that point we'll be able to pick a venue and get a date set. So that's where we're at with all of those things. I really thought that we would have more time to ease into the wedding planning stuff, but I mean, I'm looking at non-traditional days for the wedding. We're looking at a lot of Sundays and Mondays and many Sundays in April are already booked for the venues that we are going for which is shocking to me because it's over a year away and I feel like most brides want to get married on a Saturday. So the fact that Sundays are already gone, it's just like, you have to just get on it, I guess. And I have been looking for engagement party dresses. Michael and I are gonna have an engagement party in February for any of our friends that can make it up to Boston, which is really fun. So I've been looking at dresses for that. It's very hard because it's gonna be freezing here in February, but I wanna wear something that's, you know, cute and very bridal, but I don't wanna be freezing. He's so cute. This is my dinner outfit. This is almost entirely my mom's Christmas presents to me this year. I love it. So this is just a little blue sweater from Abercrombie. I've always wanted a blue crew neck sweater. And then I got these very popular Curve Love jeans from Abercrombie. They're the 90s straight style. I just think they are really flattering and really comfortable. And then I got some new white platform sneakers from Steve Madden. If you remember the good old days, I had this pair of white platform Steve Madden sneakers I got for Christmas a few years ago. I wore them to the very end. The sole was completely falling off the shoe and they just were not usable anymore. So I asked for a new pair for Christmas. They're not the exact same ones, but they're just classic sneakers that I can wear with anything. We're gonna head over to Bar Taco. Michael's calling right now. I guess you can call 30 minutes in advance to get your name on the wait list. So you can kind of jump ahead in line. So we're doing that and we're gonna have a nice little dinner together. So we've had a change of plans. We went to Bar Taco and even though we put our name on the wait list, when we got there, it was still an hour wait for two people. We didn't wanna do that. We drove all around the city of Boston and landed in Cambridge and we're going to go to Plant Pub again, which I honestly don't mind. I like this restaurant better anyway, but it's just crazy going to dinner in the city and I really don't love the driving around part, finding parking. It's just unenjoyable. It's so much easier to walk to places, but where we live is really residential and just not a lot of restaurants. So it is what it is.
I just parked down in South Boston again, going to another Pilates class at 11. This morning I couldn't really chat because Michael had some calls that he was making for work and I just enjoyed a nice bowl of the Trader Joe's version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and a coffee. And now I'm gonna go take this Pilates class kind of an overview of the day. Michael and I have two virtual tours for potential wedding venues today. So we're doing that at 1 and 2.30. And these are two of our more top picks. So I'm really excited to do a virtual tour and we'll kind of recap with our wedding planner after to go over our thoughts and see how we feel about them. Just hopped out of the shower and put on my little comfy outfit for the day. This is a taupe bodysuit from Aritzia. I love their bodysuits. They're so soft and comfortable. So I'm wearing this with a little skims. Scoop neck bra underneath. And then these are just some talentless sweatpants. I've had these for a while now. And I love talentless sweatpants, especially if you live in a colder climate. They're like a super thick, almost towel-like material on the inside that keep you really warm. These are the women's. I do prefer the men's. I believe these are a women's medium and the men's small just fits me a lot better. They're looser, they're more comfortable and more relaxed fitting. These ones are kind of more of a fitted jogger style that I just don't like as much. Today's Pilates class was really hard, probably the hardest one that I've had so far. I just felt very shaky. My muscles were trembling the entire time and I had to take a lot of breaks but I just feel like Pilates is gonna make my core so solid because every time I go in there, the class is so much core and my abs are just shaking in a way that I have not felt before, so I feel like it's working me in a different way. I'm just drinking some orange juice right now. I'm not all that hungry for lunch yet. This is very pulpy, but it's good. This is the Trader Joe's orange juice. I got this yesterday when we went. I got this because I realized that lately because berries really aren't in season they haven't been looking very good that i haven't been having a lot of fresh fruit and haven't been eating a lot of vitamin c so i just got this orange juice and this one's great it doesn't have any added sugars that's kind of what i look for in orange juice or any kind of juice because i just want to have the natural sugar from the fruit and not added sugar you just don't really need it and this one just has orange juice in it so it's great and it's also really high in vitamin c so i'm just gonna sip on this for a little bit and then wait for our tour our first one is in like 20 minutes michael should be coming back downstairs from his workout soon and we'll do that we're gonna facetime with the girl who manages the property and i'm really excited i've been on the hunt for an engagement party dress and i just found this one on poshmark i actually already saw it on revolve from lovers and friends but it's $184 on full price on Revolve. It also just sold out on Revolve, so I wouldn't even be able to buy it new right now if I wanted to. I found it on Poshmark. It's a little white blazer dress. But the seller is trying to sell it for $190, which is not gonna fly. I put in an offer that I feel like is more reasonable because I'm pretty sure this has already been worn before. So it doesn't make sense to buy it for more than it is selling for on Revolve. Plus on Poshmark, you already have to pay shipping. So hope they can get the seller down on the price, but I think this dress is so cute. It's just very chic, minimalist, and very sophisticated. So I would love to wear this for the engagement party. We're into the house. Okay, you're not watching the tour. I, I am watching. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Trader Joe's Orange Juice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can watch, we can watch, one episode of Cheer. In exchange for this, we will curb the wedding talk for the rest of the night to give ourselves a mental break. <laughs> no deal! <laughs> no deal. I'm kidding. That's fine.
guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, don't forget to head to my description box to check out the link for Anna Luisa. They have some beautiful gifts to give for this Valentine's season. So check out the description box. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.